Alison. How are you finding India so far? I'm really excited to be here. And it's surprisingly like I expected, which is very odd because I've never been here. Never here? No, no, no. This is my first time in India, except that I've been looking at Mumbai on the internet for the last two years, okay. almost every day. Right. And drawing it and thinking about it and thinking about people here and asking people about what it's like to be here and mining my friend's information for those people who've lived here and yeah. Um, so now I'm here and I was we went we drove around yesterday and I was like, I recognise that place. I recognise that place. We, you know, it's almost it's great. It's just like it's quite nice to know that I've I've sort of been here somehow people are visiting. Oh, that, that sounds really great because the thing is that uh, right now we are doing Visual India yeah. with Peter Milligan. Yes. Now, if you have seen Peter Milligan's work, I mean a lot of it has things to do with uh, stuff that takes place in India. And what he, what he said very specifically, we did a signing a few weeks ago and he said, I've always wanted to write a love letter to India and this is it. Okay. So but, this book is his love letter. And to some extent, it's my love letter as well. Okay. Uh, because he's done this book called Robin Bosch. Yes. That was, that I, in one of the references, he tells that it's straight out of Indian mythology. Yes. The way the protagonist is yes. uh, featured. Yes. Like, he showed a issue of a, like, a locally produced comic called Amachitra Katha. Yes. The cover of the first issue, which featured Krishna. Yes. That was one of his references. And if you know the protagonist has blue skin as well. So that's what he's done. He's also done an arc on Hellblazer called Hellblazer India. Right? So there's quite a lot of stuff he's done with India. So I'm interested in knowing how did this pairing come about? I I just work with him quite simply. I, I was asked to do this, I think because I've drawn Indian people before. Okay. Um, in my previous book, Winnebago Graveyard, there is a boy who is Indian. Because I work with my friends in the UK and the UK is a lot of it.
healthy things. Of course, of course. I mean, I mean, your panels made me think that yes, this is it. I mean, this is what I see every day. This is this is it. Well, this is that's a very very nice thing. Say, question. One of the things I came here for was to find out if I could write. Of course, I didn't know. Remember, I really, really didn't know whether I could write. I was very much guessing. And, Their parents, their grandparents, yeah. that's all the stories here got from them. That's right. So we have two issues of Hitkal Mumbai yes. with us. Yes, we do. Two more are yet to come. Yeah, and one of them is out on Wednesday. It's one very, of it's, them is out on yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, so, so the dates are, uh, the third issue is out in English on Wednesday and you can get you can get it on Amazon, probably fairly simultaneously I would expect. And you can get it digitally, and um, we've given out a press release which is available and has all sorts of links on the box, and people can click on to buy it. And then the issue four is the second week of January, and issue four looks brilliant. We just sent it to print last night, and um, the last issue. And then the collection is out, um, I think, mid February, and then in bookshops a week after that. All these dates are in the press release that we've put together, and. Um, what I would urge people towards is ordering the collection because to get the whole experience in one go, particularly since it's Mumbai and it looks like it does, have you, and the art is, how can I put this, the art is coloured in such a way it will just blow your mind. And um, so get the collection, which as I say, it's going to be in bookshops so and you can order it and order it now so it's, it, you actually get it. And it looks amazing. It's, it's not always that you can say that a book is more than the sum of its parts, but this one is. Absolutely. I mean, uh, we have a great super market for collected editions and what I like about collected editions is all the extras. Yes. Basically, the, yes. the ones that you couldn't fit into the monthly book. I don't know what they put in. I know Rachel, the editor, who is Rachel Fulton, who is our editor, is putting it together right now as we speak. Um, I don't know what's going in there, but what I would urge people to do is you can go through the book and you can spot locations and also on... There is, there is a can you spot him on the first page, page of the fourth book? There's, you know, the actor Chris Hemsworth. The, um, there is his stunt double came in to give me, give me some kicks. There's a, a street shootout, and he was in London. I was like, can you just give me a couple of kicks to kick somebody off a motorbike? And uh, he did. So um, you know, it says, can you spot who that is? It's fairly obvious. And um, so there's all sorts of stuff like. But as I said, I would urge Mumbai people, have a look at books, see if you can spot places you know, because they're all re everything is real. It's, I have not made any Mumbai stuff up, really. I, I mean, there's the odd thing, like the, the worst villain, the worst, worst villain. Obviously, I can't go inside some of your buildings, so I had to, I used other buildings. So the worst villain lives in Donald Trump's flat, for example, so it's all gold. That's Trump. Uh, that's yeah, I can see. <laughs> You can see a lot of that in the uh, in the reveal where yeah, the, right. you see the villain. First you see the building, then you see him inside. Yeah, so. That's that's right. And I didn't tell the colorist that it was Donald Trump, and she made it look really, really nice. And I was like, people going, oh, that's so nice. So this one's like, do you know that that's Trump's flat? But it, she's made it look actually better than it kind of is. It's actually a lot more gold. Um, but I can't, you know... Obviously, one of the, the really great things about drawing a book set here is the color and the gold and the ornament. This is ornament on everything. Um, but the colour is a gift to an artist. In fact, actually, Mumbai is a gift to an artist because there's so many interesting things to draw and there's lots and lots and lots and lots of detail. And I was like, I was prepared to draw that, so I did. So, you know, I've drawn all them. the pink dress. The pink dress, the pink suit is covered in gold ornaments. And every single time she appears, I draw all the gold again. And uh, so it's part of the course, you know. Mumbai, you do a book in Mumbai, that's what you're going to do. I mean, I'm... Really, they could be wearing a lot more jewelry than they are. So basically, it's it's so much of a passion project. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think anything's worth doing if you don't. I mean, I know I didn't have to. I didn't have to do this, but I was. I would like to make a book that people want to have, and I would also like a book that people in India like. I mean, you may not like everything because it's a it, it's not a everything is lovely story, but. Um, I would like people to like the book, and the way to have people like the book is to show things that people relate to. That's it. That's great. So, Alison, you are basically, essentially, you are an architect, right? I am, yeah. 
So I can see a lot of that in the world building portion. Yes. You know, I have read Abhinav Babu as well as I have read the first two issues of. So I can see a lot of that in the art. Yeah. So how would are Alice in the Architect and Alice in the Artist different? No, the same. I mean, people say to me that the question you asked about references, and I've been complimented on the references, and, I, and I'm like, wouldn't anybody do that? And then wouldn't you look up people's kitchens and their houses? And, and then I the sort of said, how did you do that? And I said, I assigned an architectural topology to each of the characters, and then I kind of explored that. And thinking, actually, no, not everybody would do that. That's an architect. Thing. Um, you know, where I was like, the really, really rich man is going to live in the really, really rich man's house, and the, the party villain is going to live in the Bollywood actor's house, and so that's really sorry, I shouldn't say that. And um, yeah, so I, I, you know, and the uh, the Hijira, the trans, the um, the third gender ladies, they right. live in. Um, I don't, I can't pronounce the name of the place, but they live in a very beautiful fishing village where all the houses are painted different colours. I saw that. We drove oh, past it. Right. I, I was like, that's where our ladies live. And oh, oh, so yeah. every every person in the book has their place assigned to them. And there's a villa, there's a place called, I think it's um, the Nunes Villa, which is in fact the west of uh, St. Sebastian's Road. And that's where we look at that. And actually, a lot of these lovely historical buildings are very well documented. See inside, you know, they can go to books. So I use all of that. And as it turns out, what I'm doing is I'm selling part of proofs of the pages of the unique prints of each page. And the prints that people want, the ones that have sold already, are the ones of Mumbai. So the ones of the Tower Block and the Slav. But also, the most popular piece of art that I've done is the people sitting on the sofa in the Nunes Villa in Bandra West, where it's the outside of the house with Hickok, tiny Hickok, breaking in, still there. And then the inside of the house, where they're in their sitting room, with the couple sitting on the sofa with their books and their nice things around them in this room. What normal people do, sit on the sofa and talk to your husband, and, and then there's three panels of them just talking to each other. And that is the most popular page in the book. And um, people, people like this say, I relate to her, I like his facial expression, I want to know what their books are, uh, who, who's, who's is which, what are they talking about, and so, unlike, so, so these are the middle class people, these are the people like us, and these are the middle class people, and it's like, yeah, um, they have a, you know, there's a whole life going on here that you don't, we don't know, you know, what are they, who are their friends? What do they do? What are these books? Where does this thing come from? What's that house like? And it's just kind of nice. Like it's nice house. So it's partly the whole thing and it's partly the whole thing in the house in England called Charleston where um, the Bloomsbury set, one of the women from the Bloomsbury set used to live. And it's, um, but as I say, all real places. So there's... The hit girl that I draw is not like the hit girl that people will know from the films. It, it, she, my hit girl is a real girl, a 12 year old. Right, right, right. And, you can see that. And so she lands in Mumbai, she's on her own, and as I said, and, and she, hit, hit, actual hit girl is a real girl. And I said to her, actual hit girl, I was like, you know, you're 12, you land in Mumbai, you're on your own, what do you do? Yeah, you even have conversations going on across yeah. the railway bridges and all that's, that. That's, that's right. And the obvious thing is, is the obvious things happen, and she falls out with people, but she doesn't get it right always, and um, she doesn't know the local live land, you know, and this and um, so she infiltrates her way into people's lives through, well, infiltrating her way into people's lives, basically, and um, so ideally, um, I wanted the book to be about people from here, as opposed to be about Hit Girl, that really you have a huge, huge city, quite a lot going on, you know, more going on than you can possibly know. And so Hit Girl lands into this whole sort of mix of stuff and um, infiltrates away into people's lives and then basically, as you would expect, kills their enemies. Relatively unusual thing. We want people to identify with Hit Girl, but also we want people to identify with some of the other characters and it is a female empowerment book. It was so lovely talking to you. I really like oh. the book and I hope you enjoy your stay in India. Well, I'm very excited to be here. Like, like, like as I said, I'm. It's just nice to come and tell people about the book here. It's 
Thank you for having me. It was so lovely talking to you. Thank you.